Hey YouTube, back again with another video. This time it's going to be doing a quick update on my 1997 E36 M3 four-door. Um, it has the original radio, it's 24 years old, uh, officially 24 years old as of next month, uh, March of 2021. And it still works, uh, still works reasonably well. A couple small issues, uh, some of the springs are getting a little bit worn and the lights fade a little bit here and there. So I decided to do something uh, more factory than doing anything newer. I realized I could have spent probably a little uh, less money getting something much newer and more modern, but that's not what I was looking for. I like the cars to be as OEM as possible. So I did something just a little bit uh, more in keeping with the vintage of the vehicle. So let's do a quick unboxing, show you what I got, and we'll go ahead and get installed in the car. All right, so here's our package that just arrived a short bit ago. Uh, a couple of tools I'm gonna need. Hopefully the only thing I'm actually going to need are some Allen wrenches. I have metric and standard. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which I'm going to need, most likely metric, but I have those just in case. And the work light, just in case it's a little dark in there. So let's get this open and see what we have inside. Complete with owner's manual. And you have. Appears to be very well packaged, very well taken care of. Original head unit. From another BMW. So this is the CD43 head unit. What's in there now, I believe, is the C33. This is slightly newer, uh, updated version, uh, but still factory and uh, has all of the functionality. We'll operate the six CD changer in the trunk. Um, and it looks as to be in really, really excellent condition here. Uh, I saw a lot of these online. Many of them had some rust, uh, or at least what appeared to be some, some rust and other uh, problems with some of the connectors. This looks very clean. And then a lot of the knobs were very, very worn or these tabs were missing. So. There it is. This is a uh, ball punt original uh, BMW unit. Let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, so here we are in the car and uh, just going to take off these little clips that are in the corner. You can actually use a fingernail and if that doesn't work, you could probably just use a small flathead screwdriver, but my fingernails are good enough to just pop those open. going to start with the metric and start with the number two and see how that works with the screws here and see if that's the right size and it looks like that might actually be the right size tough to tell Let's see if we unscrew one seems like it's probably pretty loose and let's go over to the other side over here and unscrew this one. It feels like that might be stripping, so. All right, so I switched from the metric to, um, to a 5 64ths. It looks so this actually has better grip in here. The other one was just spinning and it felt like it was catching, but they're very, very, very small and Difficult for me to feel if they're really loosening, but it looks as though these are the right right ones here. And again, this is a 5 64th. And it looks as though it's already loose just by pulling that out. And there is the back side. Okay, so this should be a very direct plug and play. Just removing the same pieces we see here, disconnecting them and clipping them back onto the new one. So. Each of these pieces should be very easy to go on. P 
appears as though a screwdriver for this. All right, hold on. We'll be right back. All right, so if you look closely at the harness here, you're going to see an uh, image of a screwdriver, and that is really just to get underneath and lift the outside part of the wiring harness up. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and show you that this is already off because I did have to do two hands um, and have a little reinforcement to hold it to ensure I didn't scratch anything in the car. And what you're going to notice is this clip will slide up and down. And when you put the screwdriver underneath per the diagram, it'll slide up most of the way. When you look at the back of the radio, you're going to see that these clips line up so that the two circular pieces on the back will line up very specifically in the runners right here okay so these two circles little tabs are going to line up directly inside of here and i'll get a picture when i reinstall the new one but i had a heck of a time getting this harness off and what i realized is that by gently lifting on the side that released enough pressure for this then to pop out um it was quite the struggle at first until I figured out that I could be smarter than the radio and figured out that these um, were actually acting as retainers, not just as guides for the clip moving up and down. So let's get the uh, new radio and get that hooked up and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here's the new head unit. I uh, have not really done a thorough job of cleaning it. I'm actually gonna get it installed first to make sure that anything, uh, any marks I might get on it with fingerprints, whatnot, I'll clean off after. But in general, it's actually in really, really good condition for being uh, just over 20 years old. So let's go ahead and get this installed. It should be as simple as hooking up the same connectors, albeit in a slightly different location than the other. Just to verify, make sure I Oh, that sounded good. I heard power. And clip. So I don't know if you picked it up on the video or not, but I did hear the CD actually kick on, which means in theory, I've installed it at least so far correctly. Something to note is as I was putting the clip back on, I pushed the clip all the way in. This was raised up and as I pushed it down, it pulled the wires in a little tighter. So that's probably a big part of, especially the initial installation is as you slide this back down, I could feel all of the wiring um, and the connectors get tighter and that feels nice and snug in there. So let's go ahead and get it partially installed. Put the wires back in. And before we get it in all the way, let's make sure we have actual power. All right. Now I go to the super secret digital code book here. And it seems like it works. All right, so we're getting we're getting radio stations. All right, we'll assume that works. I'll get a CD and we'll try that uh, later as well, make sure that works. Um, but everything seems to be in good working order. The buttons have good spring action, which is important. 
Uh, again, a couple of mine were just, just you could feel the spring was getting loose. Um, so I don't know if I'll bother to um, actually take it apart and maybe rebuild it. Um, or if I'll just leave it as is for a video that's 24 years old. So let's just get this slid back in. Let's see if I can get in all the way without turning everything off. I guess let me turn the car off first. So I'm not doing windshield wipers. Okay, now we have it fully installed. Just going to use my 330 seconds Allen wrench. Just tighten it up. I'll come back and tighten both sides down completely once I get this fully installed. And again, it could have gone for a different aftermarket head unit, something that had more power. Uh, had Bluetooth, had an auxiliary jack, had a lot of other options to it, but I really wanted this period correct as most of the car is. Um, everything that I've done to this car can easily be undone to put it back to factory original if anyone ever cared to do so. And that's really what I wanted with this radio as well as just to have it look clean. If someone just looked in the window and didn't know that this came with a tape deck, They'd be able to see this and think it came from the factory with a CD player. I think it looks really good. I think it's a great fit. Again, I'll get the CD uh, tested. I don't think that's going to be an issue as long as it was working. And I heard the motor turn on when I first hooked up the power. And this being a factory head unit, um, the other nice thing is that it will uh, also work with the CD changer in the trunk. So now I can officially get rid of my cassettes from the 80s and get my CDs working in the front here. So um, that's it. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, pretty successful install, not that difficult. The hardest part was that clip and just trying to figure that out. There are a lot of other videos out there doing a similar, if not the exact same installation. And that clip is definitely something that's uh, a, a difficult part of the install. Seemingly should be very easy, but the thing I found is again, those two little pins, get a little bit of leverage to get the harness over that and it pops right off and that's the easiest easiest way to do it. So again, I know I could have gone for a much more contemporary uh, unit for today, you know, with the Alpine or in any other device out there. Uh, but again, I wanted to be period correct. I wanted to look right. I wanted to have the correct amber tone with all the, the backlighting. Uh, and it's what I wanted so it fits very, very well. This car does not have the Harman Kardon, so it doesn't have the Hi-Fi, it doesn't have the subwoofer. It does have the six CD changer. I don't know if I'm going to bother doing any real stereo uh, modifications to it outside of the head unit. You could do better speakers, do an amplifier, um, but I think the CD43 from the Blau Punt that came directly with uh, the BMWs a few years after this car, I think it's a great fit. So let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let me know if there are any other ideas you guys might have about doing to my cars. Uh, I do have one of the project coming up, hopefully before the springtime comes. It's been really snowy and cold pretty much throughout the country, but certainly here in the Chicagoland area. We've had more snow in the past three weeks than we typically get in an entire season, and we haven't seen much above single digits for at least uh, two weeks. Uh, today, it's actually in the mid-20s. It feels like a heat wave, so I figured it's a good day to get in the garage and, and do a quick project. So. Couple more things coming up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and again, thanks again for, for watching. Have a great day.